Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can place option buttons, called radio buttons in Acrobat, as well as check boxes into forms by using Acrobat 11. To create an option button, first open a PDF form, and then choose the Edit tool that appears within the Forms panel to enter form editing mode. Next, choose Radio button from the Add New Field drop-down menu that appears within the Tasks panel. The pointer turns into a radio button when placed over the PDF form, and you can click to place the button at the appropriate spot within the document. Option buttons allow a user to choose one option from a set of options. After placing the first option button into a form, the radio button choice tag is shown. Option buttons are grouped together and the grouping of the buttons is named. If you only have one radio button in the form, you will see a message appear within this tag telling you that you need at least two radio buttons. Type a name for the specific button you just created, and also type a name for the button group to which this button belongs. You can also use the Required Field checkbox to prevent users from submitting form data unless they choose one of the buttons in the group. Because users must choose between multiple options using option buttons, Acrobat requires that you add at least one more option button to this group for the buttons to function. If you only have one option to present to users, you must use a checkbox instead. You can click the Add Another Button hyperlink in the Radio Button Choice tag and then click into the document to place the second option button. Leave the group name value of that button the same as the first option button that you created in order to signify that these are two options within the same group. You can then name the second radio button choice. You can then repeat this process until you have added all of the necessary button options to the group. Now if desired, you can click the Preview button found in the toolbar at the top of the form to see what the form will look like to users. Notice that you can only select one of the option buttons that are available. You can click the Edit button in the toolbar at the top of the window to exit the Preview mode when finished. In the form editing mode, you can see that the option button group and the individual choices within the group are shown in the Fields panel within the Task pane. Adding a checkbox to a form is similar to adding an option button, except that checkboxes do not have to be included in groups. A user of the form may choose to check a checkbox or not. To add a checkbox, simply choose the Checkbox choice from the Add New Fields drop-down menu found in the Task pane. At that point, the pointer changes into a checkbox when you hold it over the page, and you can click at the place within the document at which you want to add the checkbox. Next, the field name tag will appear, and you can enter a name for the checkbox. Note that you can click the All Properties hyperlink that appears in either the radio button choice or the field name tags that appear after adding an option button or checkbox to a form to open either the radio button properties or checkbox properties dialog boxes. 
You can then set the properties of the selected radio button or checkbox within this dialog box and then click the close button when finished to apply them. You will examine setting the properties of form fields in a later lesson within this chapter. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.